All right. Below, below, below. Ah, oh, we got a brave bee. Uh, we just downsized. We didn't go up. <laughs>guys welcome back to roblox with me tenzin how are you doing today i'm doing pretty good i hope you're doing pretty good if you guys like today's episode please like and share as you see fit if you haven't already please subscribe so i've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes um yeah like i said this game is very addictive and one of the changes is i changed the belt as you can see uh what is it our belt bag has or we got a plus 15,000 container space 50 percent conversion rate and plus one percent uh to critical uh critical chance also, our backpack has changed. We now can store 175,000 uh, pieces of pollen. And the reason that we're back to playing Bee Swarm Simulator is obviously I am kind of addicted to it because it's just an addictive game. But I was look, running around and then I seen this. I saw this Global Top Honey Makers and I was like, SD Mittens has, uh, what is it? 191,688,555,000 555,380 pollen. You know, I should really give it a good shot at trying to beat SD Mittens here. I know it's uh, quite the challenge, but I think we're up to it. Oh, there we go. We can see how much uh, we've made 2 million, or yeah, 2,937,000 pollen or honey. Also, as you guys can see, we have some more uh, bees. Most of the new ones are like up here. So we got a demo bee. Uh, we got a rage bee, a music bee. A looker bee, another one. So we have two looker bees. We got a lion bee, uh, the brave bee. And we're doing lots of these missions. I've, I'm learning a lot of, about this game as we're pl playing along in it. Um, I'm not 100% sure if these ever respawn. Kill the spider, get some stuff. Uh, we do have a mission here to kill 20 rhino bee beetles, I believe. Oop, I probably shouldn't have gotten that close to them. And there goes that one. Okay, while we're running along here. So obviously you have your normal quests. I did find a new bear that we, uh, the polar bear, and completing his missions allows you to actually get perks for your bees. Um, I believe the very first, we only have the very first uh, quest form, and it boosts our bees' energy by 5%, which is pretty awesome. But also, if you go over to right here, the ribbons, uh, they have more stuff for you, and I didn't know about it until after the last time I recorded. But you can complete some of these quests and then they'll give you like five tokens like this bamboo badge so it does you know all of this helps um and you can keep these going at the same time as your normal me uh, missions going so it's pretty crazy but let's take a look here so in this store up here the only thing we have left to buy for bags is this one the the porta hive uh obviously we need the parachute we don't have that yet now i was looking at the difference between this one the pulsar which is two hundred thousand. And this one is collects four pollen from nine surrounding patches in half a second. And then obviously this one, two pollen from 49, that's a, what, 98 pollen in just under a second. And then I really want the hat, but it's three million. Other than that, we did get this belt and we're working towards other stuff. So uh, the quest that I'm working on right now is collect 300,000 red pollen. We should probably take a look. Collect 90,000 from the spider field. Okay, we can do that. Fairly easy. I collect 65,000 from the mushroom field, and then we have to defeat one werewolf. Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't shown you guys that. Or we have over 15 bees now. Uh, stop harvesting, you guys. So we are able to go up to the top of this ramp here, and just beyond it, there's a werewolf, and there's three, three fields, and also the polar bear quest is just up here. So we'll go up to the top here. As soon as our, see, we need that movement speed, right? So I'm also trying to uh, buy as many bees as possible. Okay, here comes the werewolf. Well, there's the werewolf. Easiest way to stay alive with this guy, because he is level six, I believe. Yeah, he's level six. Is stand right behind this cactus. He will eventually try and like, he'll shift to the side of it. And at that point, you just kind of move around the cactus. And there we go. And what did we get? We received a ticket, received gumdrops times five and 5,750 honey. And we got 25 battle points for it. Now there's two praying mantises in this field. Which isn't a bad thing. Right? I haven't tried this trick with the, the werewolf where you're just jumping around. But pretty much everybody else just locks up. They just don't, they look at you but they don't move, right? Yeah, we defeated a werewolf. We have to kill two spiders. 
mushroom field and spider field. So maybe I'll go down and I'll try and collect or finish this quest off, 65,150. I think that's, yeah, that's the bear over in the corner there. So we should be able to get the jelly. You got the one that allows us to upgrade our bees, which is good because then we can purchase another bee when we have the money for it. I think the next bee egg that we get is like 600,000. Um, so it's going to take a while to get that. And I'd rather get like a better weapon or harvesting tool first than getting another bee. So I just turned in the quest here to the science bear. That brings the efficiency multiplier to a total of 125%. Report back to me when you're ready to do more research. So, oh, I didn't see how much money we got. 31,400, nice. Here's what I need uh, for my next experiment. Collect 30,000 red pollen. Collect 20,000 pollen from the clover field. Defeat eight ladybugs. Defeat eight rhino beetles. And most importantly, discover six types of bees. And report back to me when you've done your research. Um, defeating the rhino beetles, we have a quest for that right here. Rhino Wrecking, we need four more, and that's for the panda bear right here. And I think it's actually the panda, the panda bear that actually gives us the silver egg, and the black bear gives us the diamond egg, but the diamond egg is like 13 quests away. So with some of our uh, new bees that we've gotten, we've gotten some new abilities. So the singing bee, I think it is, uh, every once in a while it'll drop this one that's called the melody. It gives 100% uh, critical power which is awesome. So it helps us out quite a bit. Then there's this one, which actually, uh, not a pretty, there's a couple of guys that dropped that one. It looks like whiskers or whatever you want to say, but uh, it actually, uh, what you could see there where it fired out uh, the lines, that actually for every other ability that's dropped on the field at that time, it actually collects them for you. So if there's any explosions, like you have multiple explosions and or other stuff going on, you can actually get one of those and it'll collect them no matter how far they are away from you. So it really helps collect a bunch of stuff all at the same time. See, so watch, there we go. I'm just here uh, emptying our backpack after we just finished filling it. And I was looking at all the different uh, B types or that we have here. So the look at B, I was looking at the conversion rate. So it converts 210 uh, pollen in four seconds. Uh, our legendary lion bee does 210. Our legendary music beat does 420 in four seconds, which is awesome. Uh, but there are some pretty bad ones, like uh, our fire bee, is only 120 in four seconds. And like, there's nothing really changing in their their level. It's just their rarity, right? Rare, e red epic. Then you got rare legendary. So maybe it's just. I'm wondering if it's the type of bee or if it's their rarity, right? But uh, yeah, what did I just finish? I finished, a, or no, I still have to kill one more or defeat one more spider. Uh, for the rhino beetles, we have to defeat four more. So I know there's one over here. There's gonna be two up there. And I'm sure I can find another one easy enough somewhere else to defeat. So let's go like this real quick. Get this guy. Done. All right, here we go. Let's see what he's got. Okay, that's all the ingredients I need. Okay, let me whip something up. Chop, chop. Okay, so there we go. So we got a polar bear. Uh, power, what? 1.05 max B energy, which is, uh, yeah, I think he said 25%. Let's see what his next one is. Hey there, I'm hungry. If you can collect the ingredients, I'll, I'll cook us up something. So it'll permanently increase the maximum energy of your bees by 5%. I'll even throw in some honey for a dessert. Check the quest menu. So maybe that's kind of the thing, right? Like the science bear is always going to give us conversion rate where the polar bear will always give us energy, possible. Um, well, it'll only it'll take a couple of quests to figure that out. We have 10 bees, but I've never actually shot myself anywhere. So let's go see what happens. Maybe it'll get us across the map a little bit quicker. And we'll collect some uh, pollen while we're running here. All right. Uh, we do have $375,000 right now. Or honey, sorry. <laughs> so we're getting close to being able to buy that. Ne oh, we need 16 bees. Over 16 B types to fire the blue cannon. Wow, types. That's kind of crazy. All right, just got the last rhino beetle. We need 410,000 for the next upgrade for our weapon. I just double checked that. All right, one more quest and the silver egg is ours. Nice, okay. 8,000, let's see what he's gonna give us. This is it. Final showdown before you get your silver egg. Let's put it all together. Defeat 20 ladybugs, 20 rhino beetles, and 10 spiders. Man, that's gonna take a while. The spiders take, uh, Think 20 minutes to respawn. The ladybugs and rhino beetles, super easy. Spiders, yeah, 24 minutes. So 
this is a quest that's not going to be over with very quickly, unfortunately. So we got a uh, uh, new badge, the Bamboo Badge Junior. Uh, what is it? It's going to increase our Blue Pollen collection. I collection, I'm hoping, uh, by 3%. So we'll collect those five tokens. Uh, and then we do have, what, 433,000? I mean now, so I'm gonna head up to the hill there and get us our new weapon. All right, here we go. We're gonna get this one, giant magnet. I was thinking about saving up for this one, but like I said, it collect all pollen from the patch in front of you. We'll see how well this weapon does. Also, I think we have to turn in the brown bear quest. And I believe brown bear, it's hard to remember exactly where all these you know, bears are. Like the panda stands out. But other than that, like Science Bear, Brown Bear, they're kind of uh, a little bit more difficult to remember exactly which one's which. <laughs> okay, so here's our Royal Jelly. Apply it to the cell. Come back tomorrow for a new quest. 20,000 honey. That's what I'm talking about. So let's see how good this weapon is. Unfortunately, we're using it. It's multiple different colors, but yeah, I'm a lot faster. All right, so I've been busy. <laughs> uh... What is it here? Uh, how much money do we have? 450,000 honey at the moment. I did buy an upgrade. I, I got one of the shoulder pads. Not the greatest, I guess, but it's a bomber guard, 15,000 container space, and plus five uh, pollen from uh, from bombs. Yeah, we're just about to hand in the second quest for the brown bear here. Um, so right now our science enhancement is times two, so 50% conversion rate, which hopefully this should take us up to 75. Uh, fascinating, so there are at least seven B types. A uh, nice note, uh, rhino beetles. By studying these, I believe I can unlock the potential of your swarm. I'll report back to me when you're ready for another research. Uh, okay, we're back. And bees and flowers go hand in hand. And the flowers provide bees with nectar, and these uh, these pollinate the flowers. Okay, without bees, the flowers wouldn't be able to reproduce. And without flowers, the bees wouldn't be able to make honey. Okay, for our next project, we'll be doing some uh, botany, and the botany, <laughs> botany is the science of plants. I believe you learn more about the flowers themselves. I'll be able to unlock your potentials in your bees. Okay, here's what we'll need. 25,000 pollen from the dandelion field. 25,000 from the sunflower field. 25,000 from the blue flower field and defeat two spiders. And most importantly, discover eight bee types. Report back to me when your research is done. He didn't tell us what he was gonna unlock. So maybe that's a 100% efficiency. Yeah, like the haste. <laughs> I'm like turbo here, running back and forth. Uh, and we're doing pretty well here. Uh, we lost all our critical. Oh, I was hoping that we'd have a, like 10% or 10 times the critical hit or strike. That's always really, really handy to have, um, especially in these mixed fields. We're almost there. Uh, sorry, I also, uh, that's another thing I wanted to say, is that it, we were gonna go and buy a royal jelly, but there's actually a royal jelly, there was a royal jelly, um, one of their hiding spots right behind this uh, pumpkin here. So. That's another good place to uh, go look, or I guess if you need one. Let's save us 200,000, allows us to get to our next... I think we're gonna go for the next weapon up, that pair of scissors. We'll see how fast we're making money. Cause it takes a while for us to knock down these flowers, like look at how, just sitting in one spot, right? But if you can make all of that pollen disappear in just that one spot in front of you, that's gotta be, you know, cause I can't remember what I was doing right now. I think 36 for half second, right? But all right, so we're back here. We'll get these guys converting. Take this egg, put it there. Oh, we got a, what? Just got a, we got a, wow, okay. We got a red, uh, rare right off the bat. So a mischievous bee who moves quick and hits hard. Keep an eye out on this one. There is another bee here. I'm just trying to spot him right now. There he is, right there. Let's see what this guy does. Brave bee. He's rare. Let's go into our list here. Brave B. What does he do? Gifted bonus plus one B attack. No abilities. 90 production. What is he doing right now? 304 seconds. That's not bad, but you know what? I think I'd rather have something else. So let's take the royal jelly. Put it over top of him. Plays a B we don't have. Shocked B. It's a white B. Uh, this bee is startled by everything it comes across it, and it has learned special talents to cope. Alright, uh... Yeah, we're gonna waste... How much money do we have? We have 316,000. 
I'm gonna run back up to this hill here and we're gonna grab another um, royal jelly because I don't like that one either. So we're gonna change him over once again. We need something good, come on. Uh, all right. Yeah. Boom. Hasty B, no. <laughs> That's another one we don't need. All right, attempt number, what, uh, three? To get a good, good B or a new B. And okay, rad bean. This is a new one. Uh, a stylish bee with a taste for red flowers. Everyone wants them. Okay, so this is a guy that we actually want. He drops the uh, the tokens for the red, and we can go into now the red HQ. All right, let's take a look at what we can possibly buy here. Okay, so we're in the shop. That is five. Uh, okay, so we'll take a look here first. So, all right, uh, the Red Guard, 25,000 container space, 10% pollen rate, and 5% damage reduction. What is this? This is the Elite Guard, 50,000 container space, 15% red uh, red pollen, 7% damage reduction, and 5% critical chance. Riley Guard, 100,000 container space, wow, 25,000, or 25% red pollen, 10% damage reduction, 10% critical chance. 150,000 conversion rate, or 150,000, 150% conversion rate. This one actually would be pretty cool to have two of them on you. It doesn't say whether it's right or left, so you must be able to get two, hopefully. Uh, the scythe collects six pollen, line eight patches in 45 sec or 0.45 seconds, collects three times from red flowers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm wondering what the blue has for us, I think. There is a royal jelly up here too. So I can purchase strawberries. Beast Swarm Simulator Club to use the strawberry dispenser. Another royal jelly, which I think we're gonna use right away. Go up here. Doesn't really look like there's anything worth coming up here for. Unless maybe there's another royal jelly on top of one of these flowers. No. Now I wanna see what that five stands for. Over here, discover five uh, B types to use the red field booster. All right, okay, so let's head back to the our plant here. Uh, which guy do we not need? All right, blue, blue, blue. Ah, oh, we got a brave B. Uh, we just downsized. We didn't go up. <laughs> All right, let's uh. Oops. We gotta upgrade our newest member here. Or our, our, I guess our youngest member here. There, and then blue. This guy I've been feeding all of our blue stuff so that we can uh, finish off one of these questions, which we have to get a B to level six, or raise a B to level six, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep doing stuff behind the scenes. Well, I don't know how long, but it's gonna take us a while to get anywhere on this list, and then hopefully to get to the very top. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a struggle, but we're gonna get there, I think. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.